Hello and uh, welcome to the stream. I um, struggled a bit getting the um, capture to work with the game. Almost ran, but uh, eventually managed to salvage it by uh, switching over to the game and then disconnecting and reconnecting the HDMI cable. Don't know what's causing that. There were no issues capturing the uh, Mister on Wednesday. But, uh, I did update the. Uh, I did update the. Um, the Windows to uh, twenty one H one update on uh, Monday. Perhaps that's what's causing it. Trying to start pretzel here, so we can have some background music. being a little bit grumpy not really loading anything up let's play here hopefully the player will start at some point but, uh, to go test of the chat as well that seems to work the game is running at least the music in game worked as well I tested that before jump into the game here Roland is uh, up and running. As was the game audio when I tested it. Um, you can hear me. You can hear the game. And, uh, leave it at that, at that for now. now uh, we struggled quite a bit the last time we streamed it. It's been quite a while. We skipped the Friday stream four weeks ago. I think it's been five weeks since the last iteration of this game. And, uh, see if we can uh, get past the point where we were stuck last time. Our, uh, our issue was that uh, we can't find our way out of this maze. We've finished basically what we can access. And uh, we're stuck. A worn lock. The key doesn't fit. We have. Hey, the Panther, welcome in. Thanks for the resub. Nine months going. I think that's the Evening. Of... Nice to not have to go to bed early so I can watch for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, one of the advantages of uh, having some time off. Uh, I guess you're uh, you're going into the night shifts next. The key doesn't fit. We're totally stuck in this game at the moment. Um, I don't know if you were here in the last iteration of this game in part six, but uh, we. It was a mighty struggle. We spent most of part six running around killing the same monsters because um, on the third floor and the fourth floor of the tower, the monsters respawn again and again and again. <laughs> Good job on that, Panther. Cheers. Lies extended break. Lock. Good at this time of year. I hope you get decently good weather. Oh, the uh, the monsters on these levels respawn, and the monsters on the level above are particularly nasty. Um, 
I'm not doing too hot. We should uh we should try sleeping a bit. Constantly bombarded by these enemies here. That's the way it's been. On this level in general. And, uh, there is really no running away from this either. You uh, constantly get hit again by the same enemies. We can't really even get anywhere. problem here is um, is that we're lost there is a door somewhere we're supposed to access that we have the key for but we can't find it so we spent the better half of the stream running around killing the same monsters again and again looking for the door and um, the approach we will probably use now is to uh, Slowly start at the bottom and move upwards to see if we can find this door. Yeah, it's uh, it wasn't really this difficult until we reached this white tower. And, uh, this particular section of the game has been really difficult. We struggled greatly just removing some of these monsters to start with. It's very easy to get lost here and. Uh, the constant respawning does not help at all. I need to get to the stairs down. means we're going one direction now uh, at least we found this a uh, this stuff of lightning which has been very useful to us at least it gives us some weapons to fight these guys need to get down here and as I remember there are lots of lots of nasties on the way isn't actually a path from here it's here that we need to go yeah I was right before lucky that we haven't been cornered by these guys already we will be at some point if we don't hurry along. first ran past the secret it's right here 
right there. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, now I know where we are. Remember this. We went through this so many times that uh, I know it like the back of my hand at this stage. Might as well just go down. Things are a lot more quiet on level 2. It's level 3 that's really difficult. And uh, there is a door that, that we need to pass through. But uh, we don't have the key for it. We have a key for another door that's somewhere either on this level or perhaps more likely on the level below. And lots of lots of things that we've already done on this particular level. It's been pretty tough. My plan now is to uh, go back to the beginning of the level. Just slowly go through everything again. See if we missed something. We must have missed something because there is obviously a door somewhere within the tower that we're supposed to open up. We haven't found yet. A note here that we seem to have left. Ring for admittance. It's a ring. Should we leave it? We can leave it, we can come back for it. Perhaps it opens something up on some later stage. Maybe it's not this ring, we have some other rings. We have this ring. This ring does work. Okay. We're already somewhere. So, you dare challenge the power of Janna, leader of the Amazons? Tonight, my warrior maidens will feast upon your hearts. You males are pathetic weaklings, unable to defeat even the youngest of my warriors in single combat. I will take for myself the pleasure of cutting out your hearts as you scream in agony for death. Um, <coughs> bite me. Great sword trouble is what she left. It's a strong sword. We'll give it to Conrad. We'll keep the rapier though. It's a decently good rapier. Yeah, we've uh, we've trained up quite a bit. We fought the monsters on the third level so often that. Uh, we are, uh, <laughs> we've uh, leveled up an entire level due to that. We have another key, and uh, when we took the key, another wall opened up. Probably the way out again. Yeah, it is. Okay. I assume that, uh, that the key that we just found opens up a door that we haven't unlocked here already, which is probably this door. 
It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. Hmm. Maybe not. We've already opened up this one and this one as well. A map in this game really is tremendously useful. Okay, at least we have a key. We have an additional key. Apparently not that particular one. Let's take our ring back. Gives us a little bit of outfit protection. Let's head back to the second floor. Something tells me that we need to go all the way to the third floor again and fight ourselves to the door there. At least uh, I will probably attempt it now. Which means going through all of these guys again. Much. the healing spells for now we are, uh, we are leveled up in the magic department enough that uh, we can actually do multiple bouts of healing without having to really dig very deeply into our mana supplies best not to get lost here however Actually, weren't bothered all that much. He doesn't fit. This one does. This one does. And here's another key. One made out of ivory, I assume. That works on the door on the first floor that we found. So. ourselves out of this and uh, go back <laughs> these guys aren't that tough there are actually uh, three different Monsters of this kind. There's the uh, there's this one, which is basically like a phantom, um, isn't all that tough. And there are uh, two variations of these uh, floating mummy-like guys: uh, the blue and the yellow one. And uh, the yellow one is a little bit tougher. They're both quite a bit tougher than this phantom guy. Do you 
think I'd uh, know the way by now. So, quite by heart just yet. Let's see, where were we? Where was this door? It was... Here. So, in this direction, in fact... Up here. Down here. Yeah, down this corridor. Then on left here. To here, I assume this is where the ivory key goes. Yes, it does. Okay. There's a stairway down. So oh, there's a basement. Of course, there's a basement. Tower sub level. What manner of weirdness is waiting us here? At least someone is screaming. And it's not me. If you had fallen asleep, then uh, obviously you're awake by now. Is this some sort of rotation puzzle? What's happening here? Yeah, this is some sort of rotating best. Lovely. What does the sign Face say? Face your greed. Huh. Face your greed. Face your greed. Don't think we will. I don't think we'll remove anything from this best. point perhaps to take all of these different items and place them in the little notches might be come back here want of death not as many items as there are need just to put them in so after I put them all in they disappeared and they're all here now Okay. I assume this is a decently good saber, but potentially it's the same as this one. This is just a regular helm. worse than the one that we have and we have this horseshoe which is probably not very valuable hey there static gaming <sighs> thank you for the raid welcome in don't think i've seen you here before you uh, don't know me, I'm Sirbit and I stream these uh, adventure and uh, role playing games here on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 10 uh, pm UTC. Should uh, definitely go give 
set a gaming a follow if you don't already you've rated before okay i don't think i uh, even have you on the writers list welcome in we're uh, knee deep in uh, lands of lore finally made some progress last stream we uh, struggled quite a bit in the tower spent most of the stream on the third floor killing the same enemies again and again but um, all that was needed was a clear head returning to the game after a bit of a hiatus and uh, we pretty much immediately figured out what to do Thanks for the follow, for the CPCS. Nice to see you in here. Well, um, I'll take this horseshoe. It's difficult to know whether you might actually need to use it for something. You cannot equip this item. Okay. But can we use it? Yes, we can. We can use it. We'll, uh, we'll keep it here. We don't know what it does. And we just wasted a charge. Which is perhaps not smart. We'll see later. The inventory system in this game uh, is a bit funny. There are finite slots and it's basically like a rotary wheel. Uh, it's otherwise pretty functional. Now, oh, where's the key? There's the key. I, uh, the part where we were stuck was the uh, perhaps the easiest part of the first level. There was a simple sign on the wall that said uh, ring for assistance or ring for admittance. And uh, all you needed to do was place a ring in the niche and uh, it opened up a secret wall. So <laughs> that wasn't very complicated, but I missed it. It is possible for ye are true of heart. Place it upon the Alta de Blanca to receive the ingredients for the elixir. Wonderful. We're making good progress now. Okay. This is the Crucible of Faith. Should we take this to the temple on the first floor? Is that what we're supposed to do with it? I probably should uh, have a better listen as to what she said. One of the uh, disadvantages of having sampled audio in these games is that uh, you don't necessarily always have a text. I prefer having the text so I can actually read it. Which is why I'm currently playing the uh, non-CT version of Might and Magic 4 and 5, so I, I can actually have the text. Take this crucible, for ye are true of heart. Place it upon the Alta de Blanca to receive the ingredients for the elixir. Okay. Wonderful. We're making good progress now. Place it on the altar to receive the ingredients. Apparently we're true of heart. I suppose that's true. Okay. That sounds good to me that I don't have to go to the third floor again. I have uh, spent enough time last stream endlessly fighting them, but uh, at least it did level us up a bit. A little grinding never hurt anybody. Now the altar is here. So we need 
me to head upwards. I'm getting lost. That's pretty much it. Ah, this is certainly ready to make the elixir. It's ready to make the elixir, okay. And then what? The elixir is not complete. Okay. What do we need now? A Diet Coke? Where was the... Um... Where was that note again? It's here somewhere. First, you must butcher the creature whose flesh has never lived. Next, you must see the sweetness of your enemy. Your third ingredient must be collected from the deadly depths. Lastly, you will need powers taken from the heart of your mother. Okay. The elixir is not complete. Apparently, only the correct ingredients will be accepted. Okay, which are what? Guess we'll uh, try some random items here. Hopefully we have them. These are just keys. Excellent. Blood. It seems Blood. to know what it wants. A bloodstone goes in. Not the cube. Not this particular bone. Not this bone either. Definitely not this. This is a spell. I hope we don't have to travel back to pick up random items that we left behind. Let's uh, read the note again. Have another the one elixir of these. is not complete. We have another one of these. Doesn't want this want at least. Butcher the creature whose flesh has never lived. Next, you must see the sweetness of your enemy. Your third ingredient must be collected from the deadly depths. Lastly, you will need powers taken from the heart of your mother. I'm not sure we have actually have all of these ingredients. I suppose we could just try all of them. I 
we've come a full circle now. I think we tried this before. Don't have all the ingredients. Well, the want of death seems fairly powerful. I do wonder if there's something that uh, is left to do here. Don't really have any more keys. Mother. I probably should. that size there's another barrier over here that we haven't crossed yet it didn't do anything it didn't do anything that size okay, so this particular cube does not open this gate of death potentially does for us supposed to use the want of death on one of the undead monsters on the third floor sad that I know my way through this supposed to use this want of death on one of these guys to actually finally kill them is that the whole point
does seem as if though they don't respawn quite as quickly now as they did perhaps because we've uh, already solved some of the issues so, I suppose that's possible uh, secret was here One of the issues is that uh, since the inventory system is limited and we have a lot of stuff, it's possible that we've left behind some of the items that we now need to finish this quest. That would be rather annoying, but uh, not impossible. Definitely did kill him. But, uh, didn't really do much of anything else. He didn't leave anything behind. The uh, riddle said that we needed to kill those that have already been killed which is sort of what we've been doing here almost endlessly <laughs> hello there Bjarne Grey welcome in kill them all yeah This perhaps the door. You have no faith. Shut the guy at the door. I have an actual ISO file that I'm running on this one. But I did purchase the GOG version. Usually I do play the GOG version if I can get it running. It's usually patched for you and uh, I've been running and working fine. But usually simpler to do so. Tourist. You have no faith. What does that mean? What do we use on this door to gain access? Missing something. a secret wall over here as well this is some stuff that we left behind here I 
left out we need it but uh let's bring it with us anyway where was the secret here Hey there, Glisser. Welcome in. You have no faith. Okay, can't really do anything to this guy. We can't interact while he's talking. Uh, casting magic at the door. Does nothing. At least it doesn't seem to do anything. You have no faith. You have no faith, he says. finish this this is where we found the ivory key no doubt there's anything left to do here there are no hidden switches or levers or anything of that sort anywhere over on this side there is a secret wall over here is this the guy Where's the... Where's the staff? Of death, here it is. We can certainly use it to kill him, but... Uh... Hmm. Empty. Kill all of them using this one to uh did the one just evaporate. Yeah, probably out of charges. Seems very unlikely we're supposed to use it for that particular purpose. Just uh, seems a little far fetched. We'd have to know exactly which monsters to kill and in which order. These levers control the uh, the pit that was in the middle of this room. So, and so does this button over here. Find it unlikely that they're tied with something else. Hmm, empty. <laughs> there was the secret panel here. It's over here. Mm -hmm. 
So, 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 secret button over here that we've already pushed down here on the floor, near the floor. And uh, now we're in the front part of this chamber here. There's pretty much nothing here. Hmm, empty. Weird pattern on the floor here. Just going through here again, seeing if the uh, plot is to kill all of them once more. Now that we, now that we found the the altar and started making the potion, it seems highly unlikely as well. I think they just randomly respawn. That uh, only really leaves one thing, which is the weird puzzle on the second floor that I don't think we solved. Sort of just left it. I'm not even sure there is a solution to it. But it does require us to go through this again. And that requires me to remember the sequence in which to do this. Some of these pit holes aren't actually pit holes, but some of them are. We find ourselves back here on the other side. Okay, this was safe. Oh, you. This one is a fake, so is this one. And I think this one and this one, this one is not fake. Okay. Okay, this one was safe, so was this one. This one, this one, and this one is safe, I suppose. At least this one. We made it over here at least. And we have to sidestep. It's just an illusion. Yeah, it is. Another of these birds. Not convinced that this puzzle is solvable. Uh, at least we have the uh, the lightning stuff now, which uh, kills the bird instantly, and uh, even two birds in one stone. If that's the case.
These birds are mostly harmless, except for the ones that shoot the fireballs, which are not. Yeah. It did a lot of damage to us. Thanks for the 16 bits, Geezer. Experience the mind. Re-experience the mind. Unbound it. list now uh, based on the map it does seem as if there's something there but, uh, we never could figure out this puzzle here, there are four distinct buttons over here. There's a one here on the wall, there's one here near the bottom, a button over here, and there's a button over here as well. Now, uh, I think we tried every combination of these buttons and uh, couldn't actually figure out what it is that they do. That's basically the only thing that we left on this particular level. That's all this particular pressure plate does. some point uh, on another part of the level you end up in this chamber over here the I think this is actually a hidden wall but uh, it's unidirectional you can only go through it in this direction so you can't use this way to go back Uh, at least we didn't leave any items here. It's also what I was checking for. I don't actually think there's it's anything. Just an illusion. Da, 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 da. Illusion. Now we need to make our way back. We also. Uh, tried falling down all of these different pits to see uh, where we ended up and uh, didn't really help us at all this one is fake and you can uh, use it to press this button over here and you can also use this button to uh, close another of these holes and, uh, has nothing to do with the uh, puzzle at hand. Well, this looks like a room that should lead somewhere, but it doesn't. two of these where um, at least two if not three
dark room. Hmm. It won't budge. This one we figured out. Dark room. I think that's all there is to it. I don't think so. There's a, any other puzzle to be had there. Those are back. This is another one of these empty doors. And there's this puzzle, which is all about assessing the uh, niche over here and the one over here as well. There are no buttons here and nothing really to do. What it really does is uh, fire these fireballs at you. it by uh, placing something on the plate. This looks dangerous. It is dangerous, obviously. here recover from getting hit by 10 fireballs uh, there is no mystery to solve there at least I can hear a bird running around here somewhere can't find it There's the staircase down to the first floor. Now, uh, there's also this miniature part of the second floor, which I really don't get. It's really just this one room. Doesn't actually seem to be anything else to it. There are no switches in the floor, nothing on the walls either. Biscotta Rosia, four, four, five. This was an old note that we found somewhere. Maybe it belongs in the potion. Seems far fetched, but uh, might still be the case. Yeah, also haven't figured out the way to uh, kill the dwellers down here. If you open up these grates, they, uh, they will slug out. Obviously we haven't killed all of them. <laughs> I 
this is a bit weird as well didn't really figure this out either we open this door the uh the wall closes here behind us and uh there isn't really anything else to do hmm, empty you uh, close it again the wall opens up again What's the, uh, yeah, I think someone mentioned that on my Discord, actually. What was the game again, Glitcher? That's on sale. Or free. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Sonic Mania, yeah. You know, technically, you uh, since you're a sub, you could ask me to play it on a subscriber Sunday. But uh, since you're also a pretty decent person, I know you won't. I'll make a twelve for the gamer, might though. He's suspiciously absent. I don't know where he is tonight. No, unsurprisingly, the uh, the elixir is not complete. No, the elixir is not complete. Obviously, it's not complete. I have no idea what else to put in it. Maybe a pickaxe. So um, let's see if we were wearing some item that might potentially go into this wondrous sauce that we're making here. Uh, get rid of some of these flasks for now uh, transfer some items over to the free locations these are just regular boots yeah let's try these items the elixir is not complete. This all seems very far fetched, though. Yeah, shadow run is not bad at all. Do we need to put the wand of lightning into this soup here? I accidentally threw it. Did not mean to do that. No. There is an item that we did find. So this ring, no. Somewhat at a loss here. The only item that's really been accepted was the bloodstone. flesh has never lived. Next, you must see the sweetness of your enemy. The third ingredient must be collected from the deadly depths. Lastly, you will need powders taken from the heart of your mother. 
I'm at a loss as to which item is associated with uh, the creature whose flesh has never lived. That seems like the first thing on the agenda. I wonder if this is in order of time collected. This is probably the bloodstone, the sweetness of your enemy. Fairly sure it is. Collected the deadly depths probably has to do with the mines. The, then there's the question of the powders of your mother, which seems a little weird, but uh, fine. It's, uh, let's go outside and explore a bit. At a loss right now as to what it is that we could do in here. I actually don't think there's anything to do down here at this point. Face your greed. I will not face my greed. Uh, there's nothing else down here. Let's get out of this place. right that's the note that was in there it's the riddle that we didn't figure out it was probably the simplest one in the game though watchers chasm is up there i guess we could go there now Part of the forest are pretty tough, but uh, this wand of lightning is a very good weapon to use on them as well. Hey there, I'm a fan of the gamer. Did I summon you? I was just wondering where you were. What for breakfast tomorrow? It's probably bacon. Oh my. It's a party.
Giza was basically telling the same joke as you did on the uh, Discord this afternoon. I wasn't particularly angry. I actually don't dislike Sonic all that much. Ah, so the vile orcs have severed the bridge. Now we must locate an alternate route to the castle of Sumeria. Okay, so the bridge is out. of rogue skills he's at level five and a half or so yeah probably uh, at this point might allow bakata to have it a little while longer which is probably not necessary Give the the wand to the uh, the bow increases the rogue level slowly but surely. So I've been moving it around to make sure they all reach a decently high rogue level. Endless supply of orcs over there, it seems. Probably auto generating. Based on the, the numbers. Thinking behind the moving the staff was uh, that it does raise the spell level. Let's get out of this situation where we're surrounded here. That's a bad idea. Try to get through these fights. Bridge is behind us. Ah, that was bad. Better. No, not completely rid of them. Free, free is good. Silly amount of these guys here. many of them we've killed by now but uh, it's quite a few doesn't actually appear as if there's anything else over here though so 
I suppose our only way is to head back. Put by these arrows. This is pretty bad. And we're gonna end up dead eventually here. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. We've done basically nothing. So venturing that way basically solves nothing. We saved here before we started using the Wand of Death. I think we already wasted... Might have wasted one charge. Try to remember where this is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's go back down using this particular save. Let's see if we can. I really don't want to fight these guys again. gives us an option to redo this somewhat I'm somewhat curious as to whether we can pass the door at the bottom of the level if we have the cup with us before using it on the altar it's possible it won't take us very long to backtrack this way haven't really done much of anything except wander around for quite a while. So we can rest here. Oh, 
Oh, where was that weird thing? Somewhere very near the start of the level. It was here. One of the rings opened up the wall. So, you dare challenge the power of Janna, leader of the Amazons? Tonight, my warrior maidens will feast upon your hearts. You males are pathetic weaklings, unable to defeat even the youngest of my warriors in single combat. I will take for myself the pleasure of cutting out your hearts as you scream in agony for death. It's actually not what happened. Should be, uh... Gave her a good ass whooping. And then we uh, took her weapon. And uh, we took this key as well, which uh, opens that door on the third floor. Let's uh, overwrite the current save. Yeah, good night, Roger Panther. Thanks for coming and thanks for the reset again. Enjoy your days off. I'm back at it tomorrow at, uh, at 2200 UTC with uh, Mother Magic World of Scene. If you want to come join us for that as well. Okay, there's the altar. Don't really want to go there quite yet. Now we head back up to the third floor. There was that again. Got lost. Yeah, it's back down this corridor down here. Up we go again. We should sleep here before going up. We lost a bit of health. Yeah, we are welcome to. Got to drop by, but there anytime. Let's see. This is the tougher variant of the, the undeads. Yellow one. These guys do a ton of damage. Just the bottom guy, he's pretty easy. This is the easier variation of the the mummy guy, the blue one, doesn't have this. Hey there, Graham, welcome in. Struggling with this game a bit. We've made some progress tonight after... Uh, Mostly wondering about the last stream, not being able to figure out what to do, but uh, the going is pretty slow. Can't really figure out what the next step is. Health-wise. 
Now we have two of these guys. These guys behind us as well, fighting us from inside the wall. That's pretty tough. Let's see if we can heal up a little bit here. At least so we aren't near death. direction to create we lost track of where we were going <laughs> we were running from the enemy please die where's the door it's here we're supposed to go here, out here, down this corridor, and down to the stairway, where we can actually rest. We can't all be vampires on the 1200 gamer. So the whole point of this exercise was to be able to ascend to the, to go down to the basement and uh, fetch the cup sort of thing that we need to uh, make the elixir in. struggling at the moment is exactly what it is that we put in that cup let's uh, go down to the basement and get it first nice little scream no idea where that actually comes from face your greed okay what we're supposed to do here is <coughs> place these items in the little groves on the wall. Stop running away from me. me one item for each and then they all magically reappear here this is basically the only item of value it's uh, some sort of spell which uh, seems to kill the undead beasts The other items are really not all that valuable. And I'm uh, unsure 
as to exactly what it is that we're supposed to do with this want of death. Obviously, uh, we can use it as a spell and uh, we can use it to kill monsters, but... Uh, Take this crucible, for ye are true of heart. Place it upon the Altar de Blanca to receive the ingredients for the elixir. Wonderful. We're making good progress now. Yeah. So you say. So you say, but um, there's something missing nonetheless. We have the hat. of faith in fact and, uh, what we did last time was uh, run to the altar and uh, simply place it there and start using it but uh, once we do that we can't get it back until we finish the elixir so uh, now I'm going to try taking it up to the third floor with me see if it grants us access to the area at the back of the level where the uh, where the doorman says we have no faith whatever that means with the usual assortment of nasty guys there's probably one behind us here yeah there is of my piece. Hey there will welcome in. We made some progress with this game. Now we're surrounded, that's nice. Uh, one of the really nasty thing about these guys is that they can travel through walls which we can't making them particularly difficult cover some of our health here we don't end up dead now it does seem as if we uh the cup down at the uh, we leave the cup down at the uh, at the altar it seems to slow down the regeneration of these guys quite a bit so uh, assume that does have an effect now that we have the cup with us it uh, seems they've all regenerated which is 
lovely your fate warrants passage okay i was right you uh, do need to have this with you to be able to open this door okay. sort of makes at least all of this fighting worth it but uh not doing too hot health wise he said we are near death. And resting here is uh, complicated. As these guys travel through doors and walls and whatever else remains. Find a spot to rest. Hey there, Reva. Welcome in. Stop bothering me. I'm trying to rest here. Yeah. Game gives us a break. We need to cast a heal and Paulson so we can actually rest. I will have to do. This game is so tough in this spot. This is basically what we struggled with the last stream. We we're constantly being attacked. Spawning beasts again and again and again. Dead. Yeah. Let's try this again. Doing okay health wise, but uh, our mana is short. Don't we have some mana potions with us? Now is perhaps the time to use them. Because we really do need to finish this. Your fate warrants passage. Let me in. Hmm. Locked. I won't deter us. Kalanian plate mate. Mate. Better armor. I'll leave this one behind. Arbalest, some sort of bow. I might give that a shot. Some sort of axe. Hmm, empty. Weapons chest. Not really what I was looking for or hoping for either. Appreciated, but it's basically just a bonus. Hmm, empty. Okay, so there's actually nothing else in here. 
fine. Well, there's no additional piece of the puzzle in this room. It's just a bonus for making it through all of this nonsense and figuring out that you can... Uh, can gain access to this room by having the cup with us. Fine. We need to find our way back now to the first floor. I assume we're done with the third floor. We have everything that we came for. Best not to get lost here. Oh, and pretty badly for us. So here is the secret door. To say I know this level by heart would be an understatement at this point. We're back here. Yes, we gained a weapon, uh, very little else. <laughs> open this door, it leads nowhere, but uh, just to keep it open. So we're down here again. And um, the bit that we do have solved at this point, I'm going to... Um, Make a separate save here. Since once we put the put the head of the statue on, we can't really uh, change anything else. Ah, this is certainly ready to make the elixir. Yeah, it is. So the idea is that we pour into this statue the ingredients required to make the elixir which is all fine and dandy first you must butcher the creature whose flesh has never lived next you must see the sweetness of your enemy your third ingredient must be collected from the deadly depths lastly you will need powders taken from the heart of your mother well, that's basically the uh, recipe for disaster. I'm going to uh, use modern technology and take a, a picture of this screen. So we can have it in front of us here, or I can have it in front of me at least. So uh, these clues are very cryptic, which uh, I suppose is the style of a game. We've uh, placed the, the cup there. Now it tells us that we need to butcher the creature whose flesh has never lived. Now, uh, it doesn't state anywhere whether uh, we should have gotten some... Apparently, only the correct ingredients will be accepted. We can't just place anything in there. It's not like you can just uh, screw around and uh, place random items in there. What worries me most is that is the potential that we might have accidentally left some items behind that we now need. That would totally suck of course we're now trying things that uh, aren't usually used in an elixir I've never had an elixir made out of um, So uh, it will take the bloodstone. Excellent. It seems to know what it wants. Does not want this.
And uh, it does in fact accept this one as well. Suppose that uh, two ingredients out of the four that we need. And I think we've now come a full circle in the inventory. We have the elixir is not complete. We don't need this candle. We don't need this candle. The elixir is not complete. There are obviously some items missing. And uh, I have no idea what items that are. I was hoping that uh, we would find an additional item in that final room, but uh, that is not the case. Sort of wondering if um, I'm supposed to finish this off somehow, but uh, I think this is one of those puzzles where uh, it doesn't really matter how many of them you kill, there are always more of them. I think it's just a waste of time and effort to try this. Well, that leaves venturing outside. I think we'll make a different slot. And uh, we've tried that as well. We uh, we can't uh, get through this barrier. At least, not currently. <laughs> I haven't completely given up on it. I might save and try it again. But, uh, it did not appear as if though we can. I would say we're probably missing some ingredients. This is a fine crossbow. Very handy when fighting these orcs. Pretty satisfying clicking sound in the The crossbow as well, what I'm going to attempt to do here is uh, we can't use this in this way. We have one of these cubes that we used before. It didn't do anything. 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 Doubt this is the correct item to use. And, uh, just so we don't accidentally waste the charges if there is a finite an amount of charges. Perhaps this is not wise. Now, we 
can obviously go back to the forest that we came from. This is the location of the previous barrier. We uh, were able to break through that using a magical item. to get lost here it's basically a maze to be a little careful to don't get lost mm -hmm. left some ah this pot must gather moisture from above 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 wondering if we can um first you must butcher the creature whose flesh has never lived ah this pot must gather moisture from above i don't really understand the point of this but uh probably doesn't matter ah. This pot must gather moisture from above. Notes, papers, nothing of interest to us. Tool inventories. Where was the damn clerk? He's down here somewhere. Turn. Excellent. I'll leave as soon as I finish these reports. He's still there. I knew you would return. He's still there, doing absolutely nothing of value. It's this home that we left here. Machine is still running. I don't think we actually left anything here. I find it highly doubtful that we did. I also find it highly doubtful that they would have left us the option of leaving here without taking everything with us. Ah. This pot must gather moisture from above. Ah, this pot must gather moisture from above. Ah, I was thinking maybe we could uh, fill, the, from above. 
fill the empty flask with the with the water in that pot, but uh, apparently that's really not an option. remember any sort of cemetery and, uh, based on the third part of the clue it seems likely that we are supposed to find one somewhere Survive the swim back. Bukata doesn't want to swim back. Since so we're just wandering around, make some saves so we don't we can go back and forth. I have to travel all the way back. What's this? Just some maze that we have left behind there. Okay. Have to go back. At least the monsters are easy. Did he hate the root beer? I thought he was okay with the root beer. of monsters we're facing here uh, still at a decently easy level yeah we already finished whatever it was we were supposed to do at the beggar can't do that again It's a good sport. Sort of finish nature to be. Find some items here, but nothing of value. The G again? Dawn's inside. Have you found the elixir? We haven't made it yet. I am making progress on my spell. Return when you have the elixir. Damn. I could have used a hint. <laughs> but 
alas, no hint to be had. Sort of curious what this... <coughs> why this secret wall exists over here doesn't really do anything for us. Hmm, empty. Okay. That's the wagon. That's the lake. We can't swim back over. It leaves the swamp, which we can also access from the other side. Might as well go back to the mine. Mm, empty. Might actually have to go through the entire mine just to double check that we didn't leave some item behind, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Yes, we'll do it if we need to do it. Let's try not to get terribly lost here though. Now I need to go through that secret wall down there near the bottom. <laughs> to reach the mines. Yeah, people either like or dislike root beer, there is no in-between there. I tend to like it, my wife says it tastes like toothpaste. Oh, uh, those are two different opinions about the same drink. Stairway, it's somewhat over here. <coughs> Back here with the with these little pygmies. True, I tell you, the rocks are alive. I am leaving this accursed place. Jeff. We have uh, we have some alcoholic free malt beer sort of thing here called simply malt. It's uh, something that I often drink during Christmas. Some people A like keyhole. to mix it with uh, 
Dit is een orange, zult ik wel te achter zien. Dat is een pretty much the traditional Christmas sort of mix. People eat with their Christmas steak, they drink with their Christmas steak here. It's not a bad combo. This madness. <laughs> I can't believe we're going through this mess again. Right. I needed some items to place on the pressure plates. Be bothered with this. How was it that we reached this part again? Was it through the teleporter only? Just take the damage, I don't much care. I'm mostly. These guys are actually decently tough. Get what the gas smell was about. Let's head there. Better to fight these guys at range, they do quite a bit of damage close up. Probably sleep here. Try to heal ourselves. 
eat three W is pretty much the brand I like. I particularly like it when you uh, have it in the States when they have these chilled glasses. They're really quite nice. Is the sort of drink that uh, really needs to be very cold. Otherwise, it uh, has so much sugar in it that uh, if you <laughs> if it isn't cold, it uh, tends to be a little bit too sweet. How many of these guys are there? Quite a few teams. At least killed a few of them. the place where we smelled gas and, uh, apparently we already sold that so that isn't a puzzle to be potentially solved here and there are no items that we seem to have left behind here either go away site salt or at least we've taken a, taken a look at one site here of the four where did we arrive from again on this side right what's over here Actually, isn't a ton over here, but uh, we can check it anyway. before try to get this mage level up a bit increase his spell casting both the number of spell points and his chance of casting different levels of spells as well including the uh, level 4 health spell which uh, basically restores all your health actually highly useful it's an empty flask has been smashed 
Empty flask that we've left behind here as well as a dagger. Seriously doubt either of these items are of any value to us. So we can leave them. And, uh, there are many places where uh, I was running out of space and I left random items behind. Potentially I might have accidentally left something of value behind. That's the real risk. This puzzle We spent an eternity on this puzzle I'm not gonna solve it again I'll, uh, I'll go through the what See if we actually accidentally left something in there. We probably didn't. Did we get lost here? No, we didn't. We just went all the way to the other side. The chest is smashed. Yeah, it's also empty, which means that we took whatever was in it. Let's sleep here. I think we got rid of all of these guys, but apparently not. Rest up. Continue. He ran right past the triggered wall part. Okay, we've done this bit. We've done this bit. This is going straight down. It seems fairly simple. Just two corridors here. Here we left a star. Oren, it is true I tell you, the rocks are The rocks are alive. Another of these nodes. Dagger in, dagger out. Yeah. Hey there, brother Bill. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well on this fine Friday. I'm struggling a bit here, going back and forth, but uh, we have at least made some progress in the game. Solve one problem, find two more. Oh, 
That's the staircase up. Hey there, Texas footballer. Don't think I noticed when you slipped in. Welcome in as well. Ah, uh, yes, this is this fun little pit level. This is the level with the mine cars. Such a tremendous pain in the ass. I really don't want to spend my time doing this. Been through this before. It's highly unlikely that we left something of value there. What I will do is uh, I'll go through the wards and see hmm. Empty. if we accidentally left something of value down there. I suppose it's possible. to the swamp mm -hmm. I was wondering if uh, we were supposed to chop down these rocks use them for something but uh Probably not. Them flies. Let's not get lost here. We need to go up a bit here, and then we can basically by insects This one is done for. A 
Hornet's Nest. A Hornet's Nest. A Hornet's Nest. A Hornet's Nest. There were a few of them. A hornet's nest. Yeah. A hornet's nest. Another hornet's nest up here. Wondering if we should go there in case we didn't finish it at the time. Also, two chests over there where we might left some items behind what's the most likely places here's an axe and a stick and some sort of stuff uh, none of these items seem likely to go into an elixir check out this nest here Quite a beating before being destroyed. The music in this game is great. Still not, its nest. still not done for. nest a hornet's nest is it already ruined or Nest, a hornet's nest. Yes, it is. A hornet's nest. It's indestructible. A hornet's nest. Yes, it is. Potentially, we already burned it down. Let's check out the other chest over here. What did we leave here? Hmm, empty. A stick and a star. It's uh, very unlikely that I would have left an item behind that I would have figured out was a quest item. Uh, they really aren't labeled in any way, so where the danger stems from.
Yeah, feel free to drop a hint, bloody cactus. I've been uh, at it all stream. The only thing that the potion took so far is uh, two of these bloodstones. Chest smashed. The honey from the hornet's nest. That's interesting. How do we get it? Do we simply use one of the flasks that we have to get the honey? A hornet's nest. Yes, it is. It is filled with honey. That is interesting. Ah, yes, the sweetness makes sense. Okay, so the hearts are not about that. What did the hint say again? It isn't actually much of a hint. It said, which of the creature whose flesh has never lived? Sweetness of your enemy, collect in the deadly depths and powders from your mother. Yeah, that is also true. It didn't really occur to me that uh, you could harvest any sort of thing from this, but... Uh, I uh, probably would not have figured that out myself. I would have had to look it up. Yeah, good night, I'm a guitar gamer. I'm definitely going to be on tomorrow. Barring some sort of major catastrophe. Let's uh, add to the. Let's add to the mess at the altar. <laughs> okay, put the honey in. That's easy enough to do. The elixir is not complete. It's not complete. We have the bloodstone, that's one ingredient. Now, there's the powders of your mother part, which is, I'm really struggling with as well. I can't remember any sort of cemetery or something like that, that could potentially have led us to Collect something like that. Hey there, Hismaker. Welcome in. <sighs> Thanks for the huge raid. You guys don't know me, I'm Sue Bit, my stream adventure and role playing games here on. Uh, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at uh, 2200. Well, if any of you guys don't know Hazemaker, he's a great C64 and occasional Amiga streamer here on Twitch. Although his first love is the C64 and then the Amiga is a sort of an afterthought. I think you were playing arcade games on the, on the Amiga tonight. But, uh, there's no Sean Lockpickert in this game. Although uh, we've done our share of lock picking, what did you play tonight in terms of arcade ports? And the Amiga does have some pretty good ones. We've uh, spent most of the night hunting for a cup to make an elixir in and then. Uh, trying to solve the riddle of what exactly to put in it. 
without a great the stump has been picked clean. Without a great deal of luck, I might add. We've had some luck. Shadow Tanser, Ghost and Goblins, Shadow Warriors, and P47 here. Yeah. These are all pretty good games. Ghost and Goblins remains a favorite of yours. I've never particularly enjoyed it very much, probably because I, uh, I'm simply no good at it. Never really got very far in it. Thanks for the follow, player Valley. So far, um, in the uh, in this quest, the uh, an evil witch has put a witch uh, put a curse on the uh, on the king of the land, and uh, he's basically in uh, in stasis. And uh, we need to make an elixir to take him out of his unconscious-like state. And uh, these are basically this is the hint that we have. <laughs> must butcher the creature whose flesh has never lived. Next, you must see the sweetness of your enemy. Your third ingredient must be collected from the deadly depths. Lastly, you will need powders taken from the heart of your mother. Now, um... Uh, this is, of course, uh, extremely cryptic. Uh, I'm fairly sure we have already butchered the creature whose flesh has never lived, but um, I'm uncertain uh, exactly which part is uh, belongs to that. That's probably though the cup that we have that we need to create the elixir. It's likely that's the case. Now, uh, but the cactus just hinted us basically the solution to the second line, which is the sweetness of your enemy. That uh, appears to be the honey collected from, oddly enough, the hornets in the forest. That's uh, a Yamaha SC55. Yeah, it's a, it's a fairly new acquisition. It's uh, used for playing the MIDI on the, on the retro PC games. Along with the uh, digital sound effects, which come from the sound card, so I have basically two sound inputs for most of these games. One for the music and another one for the digital sound. And um, powders from your mother, I'm unsure what that actually refers to. We were able to add uh, two red hearts to the to the mixture, uh, I'm not sure which one of those uh, belongs to this particular puzzle. It's either collects collecting the deadly depths, which I'm fairly sure is uh, the Urbish mine, which you've already completed. But uh, I'm unsure what the fourth ingredient might potentially be. So we've mostly been wandering around seeing if we accidentally dropped something of value or that we missed something that uh, we need to complete this puzzle i'm fairly sure we're at the later stages of the game because the elixir will uh, revive the king and uh, you will then probably have to join him in the final fight against the witch Uh, there is still some ingredient missing. Um, and I'm unsure what it is. should head back down to the swamp. Either that or we take one more swing at the mines, but uh, we already covered the mines in previous streams and uh, they're quite convoluted and uh, maze-like. Takes forever to go through all of it again. 
we can do, however, is uh, take a shortcut through the maze and end up in the forest on the other side. This pot must gather moisture from above. I'm completely stumped as to how to show the heart of your mother. No need to carry a rock that size. Thankfully, this uh, game has a good auto-mapping system, which uh, does help quite a bit. Basically, where we uh, started the game. <laughs> so, uh, these are easy enough enemies at this point. We're uh, fairly leveled up this stage. Thanks for the follow, Coke Joe. I lost my flask. The Gorka must be the Gorka must. <laughs> I think I actually lost the flask. I think it disappeared into the pit. But if I, uh, if I cast a free spell again, then I can uh, no, it simply disappears into the void. I guess we need to load. Can I need the flasks? We were in the mines when we saved last, it seems. Fine, we can track back upstairs. Doesn't really matter. I'm not terribly deep into the mines. Isn't this a stairway? Uh, is here. side right yeah oh yes this there are so many cryptic parts of this mine Mm. 
We spent an eternity in here, it seemed at the time at least. A worn lock. There was a suggestion that we needed to go down deep to um Fetch whatever it is that we need from here. But, uh, I sort of gave up earlier. We need to get over here if we want to go out of this mess into the teleporter. This mess. How did we end up here again? us back neither does this actually accidentally get out of this last time was it through here This game was um, decently easy going until we reached the White Tower, then it became really difficult for a while, monster wise. And <clears throat> now it's uh, straining us a little bit on the puzzle side. So it's, uh, it's playing games with our mind now. right need to fall down the pits that's how we get out of here that's the only way out in fact fire pits a pit somewhere on this level <laughs> really don't want to fight these guys at this stage I 
I'd say I'd rather not. Not here, that's for sure. What? Okay, there's a monster in the secret square, which is why we can't get through. How did we get through this just before? I remember ending up here. How did we do that? We did fall from from where did we fall? Did we go up here and then fall down the pit over here? That's how we did it. And basically two places where we can fall down. One of them is there. The other is at the end of the level. Damn big news. I've been poisoned. I've been poisoned. little things <laughs> you can fall down this pit and then you end up over here you fall down the other one you end up over there This sends us through the teleport, which brings us back upstairs, basically. That's how we got out. Head back over to the swamp to get there. We need to go where? Down here, through the two secret paths over there. And then <laughs> downwards. Ah. 
monkeying around here. We should probably uh, update the save so we don't lose too much progress. You never know when something happens that you don't want. I wasn't really expecting the game to lose the empty flasks for us. Because that's fairly detrimental. I don't think you can actually get them back. <laughs> I think anyway, you just have to find them on the course of the game. So if you lose them, they are basically lost forever. We're back in the swamp. Seems fairly likely that there is nothing here of value for us. We already really got the quest item from here. We got um, some sort of amulet that we used to get another item. So uh, there's also already been some progress on this stage. Yeah, good night, Glitter. Thanks for coming. Hopefully see you tomorrow for more Might and Magic. I think we can actually speak to these guys still. You have attacked my people. I will not trade with you. Yeah. This doesn't really affect the game in you any way. You have attacked my people. I will not trade with uh, you. Okay. See you, Shelton Saturday, Glitter. Thanks for the cheers. Thanks for being here as well. Sleep well. Have a good night. Need to make it all the way over to the other side. Which means going up here. Killing more of these Gorka guys. Apparently we were not supposed to fight them the first time we met them. That was a... Uh, I just assumed we were supposed to do so. That was bad, but uh, not detrimental. The game doesn't really let that stop your progress. You simply have to kill the chieftain instead of uh, instead of helping him to get what it is that you were after anyway. Now we need to get down there. Once you're here, you're supposed to have figured out that uh, you need to need to cast a free spell to be able to pass the pit. Otherwise, you will simply fall into the into the swamp and uh, die. Okay, we emerge over there. I suppose we could go go pick up some honey. Yeah, they're great fans of the various 
elements. of a pest control problem here. Pointed out by bloody cactus earlier, hornets don't make honey. So, um, we'll give them an, a D minus on the science, and a B plus on the cryptic instructions for making this elixir. Can't get past into the vultures chasm here because that bridge is out, and we can't get past this barrier. That leaves the white tower where we struggled forever, but eventually made some progress. Although must be said, not quite enough. Guess we can go at the honey. Missing the third ingredient, whatever that is. At least the third ingredient, if there aren't four. We have a flask at least to uh, collect more ingredients, but uh, I'm unsure as to exactly where that would be. Might go back and watch some of the of the wads. See if I can see something obvious that we missed. It's possible. It's also possible that I accidentally left something behind somewhere. Both of those are plausible reasons. But, uh, I've done a lot of checking at least in here without really finding anything. If you can, uh, no, and this is one of those funny things. If you uh, leave these grates open, the uh, the inhabitants of the sewers will uh, crawl out and. Uh, and kill you and uh, they just respawn forever no matter how many of them you actually kill i think this is uh largely pointless at this point i don't think we will actually figure anything more out by now it's late i'm getting tired and uh we're sort of stuck. We 
too good to um, sleep on it or we'll, um, save it as is. We've at least gotten one more ingredient, at least one is left, potentially two. Have to go back, look at what we've done before, see where we should be going. Now, uh, Sorry for raiding again so quickly, Hismaker. Uh, at least you got to see the game for a bit. If you're still here, if you have any preference of who to raid, um, all ears. Or if any of you have any ideas, I'm also all ears. Usually by this time of night, especially on a Friday, there isn't actually a lot going on. Dr. CDCS is playing Wing Commander 2. Yeah, let's head his way. He was here earlier. Unless you have other ideas. I'll set it up. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for the raid again, Hesmaker. Thanks for the follows, Kurt Joe, play really for the pitties, Gleaser, and for the follow, Dr. CTCS, for the raid, Stata Gaming, and for the resub, Retro Panther. I'll uh, potentially see you here tomorrow for uh, some might and magic fun. For, uh, continuing through World of Scene. Good night, Texas Footballer. Thanks for coming. Later, guys. You sleep well, have a good night.